In this video, learn how to become a remote desk adjuster. Do you need to be a field adjuster first? Let's find out, starting now. This is Adjuster TV, adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Exactwear Training, the creators of Xactimate X1 and Xactimate Mobile. Get certified as an Xactimate expert right now at the link in the description below. Hey, Matt here with Adjuster TV. And in this video, I wanna talk about remote desk adjusting. Something that I've noticed is that more and more and more people want to stay home and work, right? And there's a lot of opportunities for this kind of work out there in the claims world, to, for sure, and in, in the insurance industry as a whole, as well as in many other industries. When we're talking about, when you're watching videos on Adjuster TV, um, you have to understand that, that my perspective, having done most roles that a claims independent claims adjuster can do, but with a primary focus on cat property field claims where they would say, hey, Matt, we need to go to Minneapolis. And I jump in the truck and just go, right? And I'm there for however long. Um, that's been my primary experience. I do have a lot of experience working remotely, even, you know, as early as 2015, 2016, I've done remote stuff. That's kind of when that stuff was really kicking off the early days of it. Let's look at it from the industry as a whole, right? So what does the industry need? The industry, our industry, the, the property claims industry, whether it's CAD or daily, um, what they need, what we need is one person who can handle a claim from start to finish, right? So in other words, I'm assigned the claim as the adjuster. I make all the phone calls. I call the contractor. I set the appointments. I go out, I scope the house with the contractor and the homeowner. Um, I write the estimate. I make a coverage decision. I write an estimate based on the damages and then the, the limitations or the whatever of the, of the coverages for the policy. I settle up with the homeowner. I may even write a, like a hand write a check or like, you know, do some sort of an app based thing where they get paid ACH, right? Uh, and then I'm out, right? That's the ideal. Uh, solution to claims, right? And it's that's what it's always been, and that's probably the way it's always going to be for the foreseeable future until our AI overlords take over and uh, remove our brains, which may have already begun. I don't know. So the question becomes: Is becoming a desk like a remote desk adjuster? Is that a viable career? Is that something I should try to do? Right. Well, I would say. Yes, it is viable. It's something you should, probably should try to do, but I, I would still encourage you to, to think less in terms of yourself. Like, how can I get, you know, six figures and without ever, you know, leaving my house, right? That, that's because that's what you're asking. That, and that's what I see all the time, right? So how can I make all this money and still do whatever I want to do, right? So you're thinking about it in terms of yourself and not in terms of serving the industry. Like, uh, in, ter in terms of giving back, in terms of being a solution. You're, you're trying to use the industry to solve what you what is your situation, right? Like I wanna stay home. Maybe, you've, maybe you, you, know, you can't leave the house, you've got kids or you just don't want to, right? No matter what your motivation is, you're looking to the industry to be a solution to your situation and not the other way around. Um, the biggest path into claims and that will that is the 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 really the the gateway into all the opportunities that you can get in the insurance industry as a whole really the the widest gate is going to be doing field property catastrophe claims it's just a fact and it always has been that way and i suspect that it probably always will be so this is really the easiest way to get in. and honestly i would say that you should do that even if you only ever want to work remote that i think you should take field assignments and vice versa, right? If you're a field adjuster and you're like, I, I don't know, I, I hate being at home, right? I don't, all I wanna do is get out there and work. Take some remote work and, and see both sides, right? Because I think it'll make you a better field adjuster to see the other side, and it'll make you a better desk adjuster to see the field side as well. Um, so all that said, what if you're, you can't do it? You're absolutely limited for it from, from going, leaving the house or, or leaving town or whatever to go run around and do catastrophe work like Matt's saying. You can't do it, right? So what, should, what, what can you do instead to make yourself much more marketable to be a desk adjuster? And I would say that the number one thing is to get as many licenses as possible, right? That's the absolute number one top, the pinnacle place where you should be putting your time, effort, and money is in getting as many licenses as possible. And I would even say getting all the licenses, right? There's, I think there's currently 34-ish licenses, state licenses, get every single one of them if you can. It's, it's not gonna be cheap, but it's not gonna be 
but it's not super expensive either. It might be 1500 bucks to do that, right? Which in the grand scheme of things is not that much money for what getting all those licenses is going to give you. Uh, take Hague Certified Reviewer up to level four. Um, that's the HagueEducation.com. You can get a discount with coupon code AdjusterTV at checkout. And I would get this, I would still go after the fast track to deployment um, certification that we have with Adjuster TV. And you'll find it in Adjuster TV Plus or at AdjusterTV.com slash certify. Um, and I would still go, if you if you only want to be a field adjuster or a desk adjuster, I would still go to places like MoCat and I would get in-person training. I would do all of those things. And that will make you, that, that will make the independent adjusting firms and by, you know, by proxy, the carrier, their carrier clients a lot more comfortable in viewing you as a solution to the problem of how we're going to get these claims closed, right? Because if you're, if you're like, well, I've got my Hawaii license, I've got my New Mexico license, I've got my, you know, my New York license, I've got my every license. Um, I can handle any claim anywhere. I have a level, you'll exact me at level two certification. Um, I have all this training underneath me, but backing me up. Um, so you can feel comfortable by letting me skip the field part and going straight to remote. Okay. So if you really want to do that, then that's my advice to you is to be even more qualified than you, than maybe even a field adjuster needs to be. I think a field adjuster should do the same thing, but it's even more critical. I think if you want to be a remote adjuster to do that. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.